Monday 29th of September so I'm just gonna give you a little drive from Lumawo straight to Port Morant area as it relates to the road improvement and this section of St. Thomas so you can see that they're actually out now getting some work done Right, so them starting out now to put on the wall right so blow my wall now we're going to lead to our side so i'm going straight to port Morant with this little drive through for you to see the latest happenings on the road development in a center most my viewers and my subscribers so remember if you are new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe now hit that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video Yes, my viewers and my subscribers. I remember last week flooding take place on this section of the road up by Lethal Road, and they were planning to block the road. But actually, China Arbor, along with the MP, then decided that they're going to do some work for a better driving condition. Here you can see on the left hand side that they're digging out how to put up the, the water channel right there and the left hand side going over the hill they actually started already from up the top but they remove the wall from here and make a new wall so that they can do their work so we're on the road going up to, down to the lethal section here again on the Sunday the 29th of September with this little drive through giving you the latest on what taking place on this section of the road yeah, man. so you can see that the wall on that side so they're gonna continue to go right down to the river down to the top river section right, that's the way they're actually going with the system right now and so we're out again as usual getting the updates to give to you my wonderful viewers and subscribers so we're out again this morning getting the beautiful sunlight the beautiful view the beautiful updates to give to you as it relates to this development of Rural in St. Thomas, yes, my viewers and my subscribers. And remember, this is the main road. They need to come and do the actual um, minor roads also in the community, them because they stay very bad. Very bad. I can tell you, they are very bad, very bad condition. Even yesterday, I was driving through a retreat scheme, and believe me, the condition of the road. Well, I'm very very bad I don't know who is responsible for all the ski roads but they need to come out and do something about them because people paying tax and everything and the roads are in some very bad condition as a matter of fact I'm gonna try my best and see how soon I can really do a video in the retreat area for you to see the condition of the road man it's a shame and disgrace to you man believe me shame and disgrace to all them dealing with the roads right even the new roads that they're making right now lack of maintenance yes lack of maintenance you have bush growing on the new road blocking up the drainage system that they make right so you're gonna know you're gonna find that the water gonna come back on the road and mash up the road if they don't maintain the road the road are gonna mash up in the good already you know the road don't do good already and with this type of living 
it I go mash up quick No maintenance whatsoever Why? They need to have people come out Every three months or so And get the road clean up Yes man Just like that Because if they don't do that Then we will go back at square one and reverse the road even get worse than how it was before Yes So as I said before we started at Luma War straight to Pope Rand So we're in the lethal area now Soon we finish the lethal area going down to the seaside now The fishing being lethal And we're going to go around that side Because you know they get the threat from the people them that the road got block because the condition that they leave the road in the other day, believe me. If my car damaged damage bad too. But them coming and trying to go thing right now. So let's continue on the journey my viewers and my subscribers. For you to see all the happenings that are taking place.
myself. Uh, this wall now, they build the wall without any outlet for the water to run off. So I was pointing it out to them the other day that they need some, some holes in the wall for the water to run out to the seaside. But we see them come like and drill out some section of it. We see about two sections they there and drill out. Which part again? Oh, it's one right over there. So then, mm -hmm. they drill out one part here. So, right, and send this one right here. Sometimes, but I don't know why them do it like that. But as I always say, I'm not an engineer or a contractor, so I leave it to the expert. I'm just an observer, so I'm just talking about what I observe, right? So we're on the ground again, driving through getting some updates to give to you my viewers and my subscribers yes so this is run on the little road so much port merant Driver stuck on the tape on the road because some carelessness are going up on the road, especially the vehicle. They will the bus, they will go on the technical side of the pit. They might be a bad bit of a video that I have right now on my phone with the old man behave. What do you when all the road are fixed? Old, old man behave. The guy have the thing up and then come and cut the line. A cut, a cut. If you go through the same way, all must stop them. They don't want to stop. Right, all must stop the bus, they must race with the they want to stop. They must stop it, man, and no better. No, we're not perfect, we're not perfect, we're not perfect. But they can't try them best and no better than what they're doing. Right? They can't try them best, but they don't care. They just drive like a madman. The hype thing don't work out. You understand me? Yeah, man. We can't do better than what we're up on the road, man. I'm saying, me not perfect, nobody perfect, but let us try our best and do the best that we can. Yes. Oh, I see it. You can't take a time and make your money, money the same way. You know, you behave like animal on the road. So, all animal. How do animal not behave on the road? No, animal not behave like all the money be on the road. Yeah, man. Make we do the thing the right way, man. Take your time on the road. Right. So, we are heading to the Port Marine community right now. Baller, footballer, yeah, man. 
Walking at the Diaz. Yeah, man. Tony Barrett. Big up yourself. Rest in peace, Mr. Barrett. Yeah, man. Center, we are complaining. Listen, man, if things not right, we don't have to do. We don't have to complain. Eh? If we take it, take it like we are idiot, we don't eat at the center mass. So, those of you who are comment, they look nastiness there. Only if we stop it, man. Right? Stop it. Yeah, man. We're not supposed to see the wrong and support the wrong and accept the wrong. You understand me? Right? No, man. We're not supposed to do that. We are human beings, we are, we are Jamaican and we are people of the world. So we deserve good things too. The road alone, urban center alone, can help center mass. We welcome them, yes. But we want other places that people can go work. You understand? Mm -hmm. Oh, ungrateful communities, tell me. Oh, ungrateful communities. Them 
29th of September 2024 
remember, as I always say, thank you to be a part of the Creative Flex Jamaica family. It was nice having you here supporting the movements. I'm gonna big up all the other YouTubers who actually doing this big Super Bowl vlog, Eastside Media, Kimata TV, Michael Super Awesome Channel. You understand me? All the others who really join VOJA, who really take the time out to be doing this so that you can be a part of what's happening. So, again, look up to all my fellow YouTubers who are doing this. And as YouTubers, we should, we should live good. You understand me? So, thanks again for being a part of the Creative Plus Jamaica family. See you in the next vlog. Out.